Hi, this video is going to be about quantitative genetics, and here is a problem. What is the variance of the following numbers 3, 4, 6, 7, and 10? And if you feel that you can solve this problem, uh, I recommend you to stop video here, uh, solve this problem, and when you would be ready, you can run video again, and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. And before I will proceed, I want to explain you the difference between quantitative genetics and qualitative genetics. In simple Mendelian genetics, uh, we usually have one or two traits to compare. And for example, one trait can be a uh, color of the plants. And uh, when we know the genotype of the two parents, we can predict using Punnett square what uh, the outcome of such a cross would be and frequencies uh, in phenotypes and genotypes in uh, progeny. But uh, it's very easy to do when we have only two alleles. One can be dominant, another one can be recessive. But in quantitative genetics, we usually deal with such traits that are coded by many genes. Consider, for example, uh, skin color and uh, many genes would add a little bit to this trait. It can be tens or hundreds of different genes. And that's why uh, skin color is usually uh, different and there are many different colors. And um, each gene just add a little bit to the whole picture. So uh, f in order to solve many uh, quantitative genetics problems, you need to find variance first, and this is exactly what I want to explain today, how to do it. So, we can do it in four easy steps. First of all, we have to find the mean, and we have here five numbers. So, how to find uh, the mean of these five numbers? We just have to add uh, them up, so we have to add uh, 3 plus 4 plus 6, plus 7, plus 10. And divide by the total number, or, so we have to count. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So we have to divide by 5. So this is how we can find the mean. And let's calculate. So 4 plus 6 would be 10. 3 plus 7 would be 10 also, so 20 plus 10, 30. And 30 divided by 5 would be 6. So the mean of these um, numbers would be 6. And uh, with the second step, we have to find the deviation, square root of deviation of each number from the mean. So here we have uh, numbers, and this is mean, and now we have to find a uh, deviation uh, of each number from uh, mean. So we have to deduct from the 6, the first number 3, and we are going to get 3, and we have to square it. So this 3 would be difference, and when we square it, uh, we are going to get 9, and uh, we have to repeat this with the second number, so 6 minus 4 would equal to 2 squared, would equal to 4, and then 6 minus 6 would equal to 0, and 0 squared would equal to 0. Next, 6 minus 7 would equal to minus 1, and minus 1 squared would equal to 1. And the last one would be 6 minus 10. And uh, this would equal to minus 4. And minus 4 squared would equal to 16. And step number 3. We have to add all these numbers. Uh, and this is going to be... So we have to add all these squares of deviations from the mean. So let's do it. So 9 plus 4 plus 0 plus 1 plus 16. 
and the answer going to be 30. And uh, with the last step we have to divide 30 by the n minus 1 and in our case uh, this would be number of numbers so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 we have 5 numbers so we have to divide 30 by 5 minus 1 or by 4 so the answer would be 7.5 and this is going to be variance and this is going to be our answer so the correct answer would be answer C and also before I will finish this video I want to give you the formula that you can use so we would have a variance x would equal to 1 divided by n minus 1 and uh, multiplied by sum of x i minus mean of x squared where uh, n is a number of numbers that we have here and uh, xi st stands for the uh, set of numbers and we have a set of numbers here and this is just short abbreviation, short notation so instead we can use x1 uh, equal 3, x2 equal 4, x3 uh, equal 6 x4 um, uh, would equal 7 and x5 would equal 10 but uh, instead of this we just can use this short uh, notation minus mean x squared and if uh, uh, mean would uh, equal to uh, mean of xi that means that uh, variance would equal to 0 and uh, the greater uh, this number would be, number of variants, the greater difference between numbers is. So the greater uh, variants. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments and write your questions if you have any. See you in the next video. Goodbye.